Good afternoon and welcome to today's mini masterclass. My name is Guy Griffiths and I've got a 10 minute, probably a few minutes less actually, um, preview for you today of our three R's, retention, retention, retention event, which is coming up in October. Um, but we're previewing that with a number of webinars uh, or mini masterclasses each Tuesday at 2 p.m taking you through um, a sneak preview of some of the topics that we're going to be covering. And today I'm going to be talking about the dreams and fears of new members and the promises and lies that clubs tell them. Um, and this topic really grew out of a blog post, one of the most popular blog posts um, that we've had on the GG Fit blog this year, um, which talks about the seven habits of highly effective gym members. Um, which is a, uh, a, a, a copy of the, uh, the Stephen Covey book. Um, but it got lots of likes, lots of uh, comments and uh, shares uh, from the blog post. You can go and read the full thing on the GG Fit blog if you search uh, for GG Fit blog habits. I'm sure it will come up. In a nutshell, the seven habits are um, visits. So in terms of building a habit of being an effective gym member, visits is probably the number one. Um, having face-to-face -face interactions, having regular exercise program reviews or, or just reviews, um, and then attending classes, um, getting referrals, bringing friends along to the gym, um, and hopefully getting them to join up. I mean, it's a very good habit of an effective gym member. And then reading messages uh, that are sent. So uh, emails, texts, getting in the habit of opening and reading and possibly even clicking on those. And also members that give feedback are highly effective gym members. So um, as I say, you can read the full article on the ggfit.blog. Uh, we might post a, a copy of it in our latest newsletter, but this is what has led us to uh, be talking, or, or me specifically, to be talking about um, the dreams and fears and the promises and lies uh, for, for new members at this year's retention, retention, retention event. I'm not going to go into all seven of those uh, now, but I just wanted to cover four in terms of welcome messaging and, and emails that are sent out to members, inductions as well, uh, reviews or exercise program reviews, and then to look at first month visits, because these are all key performance indicators that we often um, talk about at clients, um, and it shows us how engaged new members are. And if we look at um, a whole set of new members who are joined, who have just joined or joined in the last month. Um, we often ask clubs how many welcome messages have been sent, and they will say, "Well, if a hundred members joined, a hundred welcome messages have been sent." And this isn't usually the case uh, because there will be a few members who opt out of the welcome message, um, and so we might only actually send ninety out of a hundred messages um, on, on, on a good week. A good month and then there will be a number of messages that bounce as well because the email address is invalid either down to the member not knowing their correct email address or down to uh, the, the person who took down the details um, making a mistake when they took down that email address and this really cuts down the number of welcome messages that are even sent let alone opened or read so it's important to understand how many welcome messages are sent if we have a hundred joiners actually uh, uh, do, uh, do we only send 80 welcome messages out and then of those we can then start looking at open rates and click rates and things like that but if we're not able to send 100 welcome messages then we need to look at our processes and understand how we reduce bounces um, with more attention to detail or checking uh, an unusual email address or an unusual spelling um, and how we can also persuade more people to opt in of course, we need to be compliant and we need to respect people's wishes. Um, but the fact is, if we have better email address capture, we will be able to retain members longer. So that's just an example of um, a KPI. Inductions is another big one. We talk about this a lot at GG Fit, um, and we will be going into it um, from a different angle at this year's um, retention, retention, retention event. Knowing how many inductions are booked, but also, and more importantly, how many inductions are actually attended is really important. Um, and if we know that out of 100 joiners, 75, or how many joiners you had, 75% of them attended an induction, that's pretty good. That's a club that's working hard at getting people into an induction. Um, and it debunks the myth 
um, again, that a lot of clubs we work with initially say all of our members have an induction. We'll then go and look in the database and find out that less than half of new joiners have inductions. And the excuses come out about, well, they're rejoiners or ex-members, people who've left. The fact is, if they've left before, we need to give them more attention this time and we need to um, spend time with them on an induction or a step one. So knowing how many people attended an induction is really important so we can improve that figure. Uh, knowing how many referrals we get from inductions, knowing what feedback we get from inductions as well is really, really key um, and helps us build this picture of um, how at risk our new members are. Moving forward and looking at reviews, we often see that the, the, the members who've had um, a review at maybe at the end of month one is often even lower. Um, and clubs will admit this, that not many people actually get to the review stage, even though it is a key part of the journey. Um, and the first month visits is not normally as bad, but knowing how many members make four first month visits is really critical uh, and gives us a good measure of how engaged members are in their first month. So taking all of these, or taking just these four key performance indicators and, and putting them all together, um, if we find members that have read or opened the welcome message and had an induction and had a review and done four first month visits, we'll find a very small section of those meet all the criteria and those are low risk members. Conversely, members who actually didn't get the message, didn't have an induction, certainly didn't get to a review and only made one or two visits in their first month are high risk. And what we're looking to do by starting to measure these key performance indicators is to move more people from high risk into the low risk category to grow that green segment there to make sure that at the end of month one, our new members are lower risk. So that's just a, a, a little uh, preview, if you like, of what, we, what one of the things we're going to be talking about. We're also going to go into um, within a workshop talking about new members who are joining and really go into what their dreams, not necessarily just their goals, but you know their, their, their dreams. Have they been a member before? Therefore, they have left a club already. Um, or are they really brand new? And how can we help them achieve their dreams? And how are we going to help them overcome their fears within the gym or health club environment? We'll also be talking about, from the club's point of view, um, the promises that a club makes and also the lies. You know, do we tell every member that joins that they will have a review in four to six weeks' time? Because it, it's it's often undeliverable and, um, and and therefore unreasonable that we we should make that promise or that lie. And we're going to then take those into some very simple journey planning, planning from the member's point of view, looking at a, a simple journey like someone joins and hopefully we can lead them to have an induction. Once they've had their induction, they'll go on to have a program review. There may be other steps in between and different members may take different amounts of time to transition from one stage of the journey to the next. At the end, um, they have the review, but this is really an ideal journey and we know that a lot of members are going to follow it perfectly. Others will jump from the join to the review. At the end of the review, they'll hopefully loop around and, and have another review and another review, but also to recognize that's probably only going to be half of your members a lot of them are going to drop out after the join point or even after the induction point, although there may be those that have a review and then drop out from there. So we'll be going into this in a lot more detail at the uh, conference. Um, it's on Tuesday the 9th of October at the Oxfordshire. You can get tickets now um, at ggfit.com slash RRR. If you would like to find out more, then uh, please go to that website. And if you would like uh, more free masterclasses, then please tune in again next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Thank you very much.